In this SketchUp tutorial video, I want to cover the basics of using the offset command. What I have on my screen right now is a flat, two-dimensional shape that's really about 30 feet in either direction. We can use the offset command on a flat 2D shape or uh, something that's been pulled up into 3D. It will work either way, and what it really wants to do is grab the, the profile shape of a face, so it'll work either way. So once I you know, have the outline that I'm interested in, what I'm going to do is go over to my large tool set here and grab offset. It looks like the two arcs you know, inside of each other. Once I've grabbed offset, I can either grab edges or faces. I'm gonna grab this face right here and then pull in. Once I do that, you'll see that it's mimicking the overall shape of my object. So I can go in or out. So if I pull out this direction, I could say that I want to go this way, 12 inches. And now it's created basically a large border all the way around. I could do that again and say 24 inches, 36 inches, and so on. So keep going out. Or I could come in, and I'll just pick, pick my 12 inches again. Something to notice that as we go in, what will eventually happen is your object starts to run into itself and do strange things that you may or may not actually want. So if I even come in again and say 12 inches, you'll see that I am getting uh, you know, a situation here where this line is formed. So if I try to go again, it's just going to be inside of here. Okay, so it will slowly start to divide the object up depending on you know how it, it all fits together. Once you've created the offsets that you're interested in, you can use the push-pull tool to start taking them into 3D if they're not already. Notice that once you do that you have all of this line work created so that you can go in and pick each section individually. So I could bring this one up 12 inches, this one 24, 36, 48, and so on. So as I'm doing that, you'll get to see this, you know, tiered effect in this particular, oops, did the wrong number there. There we go. And all of these objects are just as editable as everything else you did. So I can certainly grab these faces and continue changing them. These as well. And you can pull these out in whatever direction you want. And when it limits you like this, if you just stop there and then do it again, it will let you keep going, by the way. So that's you know, basically using offsets. So it will create a precise copy the exact distance you say so that you don't have to go through all of the work and all of the math of trying to figure that out.